Hey guys, welcome back to Dorm Room 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new video to help me show you guys how to set up MSI Afterburner and Reaver Tuner on the PC. This is basically to show you how the stats I you, you normally see my do stats for my benchmarks. This is basically easy for that. I normally get comments from people asking what software do you use, so I'm going to actually just take you through how to set it up on your PC real quick. As you know, I do how these how-to videos real fast. I'll leave this link down in the description below so that you can download MSI Afterburner. We're going to then simply show in folder and extract the files. It's going to take you through extremely fast. I'm going to show you how to set it up and that's it. If you want a further video on it, um, just leave a comment down below and I will deal with it. So we're going to just install it. It's very simple and very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to set it up so that you can see the CPU name and everything displayed as well as the graph as well. And then I'll end it there. I'm not going to make it too long. This is going to be very short because if there is more, I will do another video on it. So basically like that. We simply install it like that and just wait until it's done. Okay, so to make this more comprehensive, I actually went through this already. And I thought, no, this will be a much easier. Now we can change this layout, but for this video, there's no point in it. It doesn't show you anything, so there's no point in really changing the layout. I think this layout is fine, by the way, but I, it's not the one I use. So we're just going to go into monitoring real quick. And I already set them up for you guys just to have you make you guys understand. So right away, to show you the graph settings, GPU usage is basically whatever graphics card or integrated graphics you're using. You're going to want to scroll down here and click on show in a on screen display so it'll actually pop up on screen. And you're gonna, gonna, you don't have to do this, but you can to make it look a bit more f flashy. I override group name so that I'll put it as Intel HD 620. So when you're actually watching the video, you can see that it's showing the Intel HD 620. Normally the memory is for VRAM usage, obviously once again this is integrated graphics, so yeah, but you can leave that on in as well. So we're going to also do CPU temperature. Now for CPU temperature and CPU usage, we keep both of them with the same group name, that way they're next to each other rather than on a different line as you can see. It's the same thing, just simply follow what I'm doing here and you're good to go. Next I use RAM usage. Obviously, I'm using a dual channel memory at 2 8 gig sticks to give me 16 gigabytes total, so it's 8 by 2. And after that, we basically do frame rate, so you can see the FPS I'm getting once in game. Now, I actually have text and a graph enabled, as you can see. It's just so that you can simply have both of them. Now, we're going to go to River Tuner because obviously a lot of things happened at River Tuner to make it really start it up. So just give that a second to load in. Here we go. So with Ruby Tuner now, basically everything is fine. You don't really need much here. You can cap your frame rate here. So just put any frame rate you want. I normally put it to 30 when I'm playing in integrated graphics because integrated graphics can't play jack. But you can leave it to zero to begin with. It's pretty simple stuff. 